Well, the Merseyside derby went uh, pretty much as you would have expected it to go. Uh, Liverpool wins two goals to nil and keeps pace with Manchester City for the uh, uh, race for the uh, Premier League title. Uh, Liverpool also will play uh, uh, Villarreal midweek uh, in the Champions League. And I don't overlook Unai Emery's Villarreal. Uh, now, I think, I think Liverpool's going to win. I'm predicting Liverpool versus Manchester City in the uh, final. But uh, don't overlook uh, Villarreal uh, because they, they play a very solid defensive. But Liverpool might be just too good for... Uh, um, uh, Liverpool might just be too good for Villarreal. I also think Manchester City is going to beat um, Real Madrid. But again, I thought PSG was going to beat Real Madrid. And I kind of surprised me uh, that uh, Real Madrid went into Stamford Bridge and handled Chelsea like they did. Uh, Chelsea made a great comeback in the uh, second leg. But in the end, uh, Kareem Benzema was the difference. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. I think you know Manchester City clearly has the uh, tougher road, in my opinion, but uh, don't overlook uh, Villarreal. Uh, but but should be great matches uh, coming up in midweek. Um, if we move on to this game to the to the uh, Merseyside derby, uh, in the first half, we look we, we expected this to happen. We expected Everton to park the bus. We expected them to make it difficult for uh, Liverpool. And for the most part, they did. Uh, there was a little incident near the end of the first half and down the 45th minute. Uh, Richarlson uh, goes down and uh, uh, is hurt. And uh, um, let's see. Yeah, and, and, and uh, Everton wanted uh, Liverpool to play it out. They didn't. And then I believe it was Allen comes over there and... Uh, Basically pastes, um, uh, I, I think I, I think it was Fabinho. I, I forget who it was. He pasted somebody, got a yellow card, led to a little bit of scuffle. In fact, even we had uh, um, Mane uh, pushed somebody in the face, but nothing. You know, no harm, no foul. I was lucky to get a yellow card there. Uh, but it, the first half ended nil nil. Uh, it wasn't till the. Uh, um, 60 uh, second minute when uh, Salah crossed the ball to an unmarked Andy Robertson who put the ball in and it was 1-0. Uh, in the 85th minute, uh, Origi uh, would put the ball in and made it 2-0. And it was, a, it was a very professional performance by Liverpool. Like I said, they were expected to win this game and they did. They were expected to stay uh, behind uh, Manchester City and they did. But Liverpool made, but uh, Everton made it difficult on them. Everton gave a good accounting of themselves. This is at Anfield. You're, you, it was really too much of an ask, in my opinion, for Everton to uh, go into Anfield and try and get three points. Yet they probably knew that um, uh, Burnley had won. Now Everton's in the bottom three, but they do have a game in hand. Uh, now Everton's next two games, uh, Chelsea and... Um, Leicester City are not going to be easy matches at all. Uh, so they've got their work cut out for them if they're going to survive the Premier League. Uh, this, this is a new experience for Frank Lampard. Uh, I mean, he's, he managed it uh, at Derby County and got them to the uh, championship of uh, championship to, to the, for the promotion of the Premier League. And they lost to Aston Villa in that game. Uh, this is, but, but he's also um, managed Chelsea. Uh, but that was on the other side of the table. Now he's got to see if he can do anything to uh, save Everton, and they've got a lot of work on their hands there. But as far as this is concerned, you know, give credit where credit is due. Uh, Liverpool wins. They win comfortably for the most part. Uh, Everton really was not much of a threat going forward. Uh, and going forward to the uh, coming weeks, it's going to be interesting to see how... Uh, how the title race runs out and comes up. Liverpool, they're already in a final. They play in the FA Cup final against Chelsea. They already played uh, Chelsea in the League Cup. That was a very entertaining nil-nil draw that went to penalty kicks. I'm not a fan of winning by penalty kicks, but you know I don't make the rules. Um, but uh, again, congratulations, to Liverpool! They'll make it to the final of the Champions League. Play Manchester City again. That should be an outstanding game if it happens. If they play, I'm sure they wouldn't mind playing Real Madrid. 
Uh, they, last time they played Real Madrid in the Champions League final, they got beat three goals to one. Now they have a better goalkeeper than they had there. And I don't think Bale is going to be doing any bicycle kick goals in this one. So if Liverpool, four trophies, unprecedented, they are going to have to play Newcastle next week. That is not an easy game. It's going to be up, in, up at um, St. James Park in Newcastle. Then they play Tottenham at home. Tottenham beat Manchester City at home, at, at uh, um, the Etihad, don't forget. Uh, they have Aston Villa on the road, Wolves at home, and Southampton on the road to finish out the season. That is not an easy string of games. There are certainly winnable games, and they certainly are better than every team they're going to play there. But we've seen stranger things happen from a Manchester City standpoint. Uh, Leeds away, Newcastle home, West Ham away, Aston Villa at home, and then Wolves on the road. Um, this may go down to the last game of the season, and if it does, then we're the we're the benefits of we have the we're we're the benefactors of it. That would be wonderful if we have that kind of a lead up to a fi to the final. But uh, uh, again, congratulations to Liverpool for their victory, but not really surprising that they won. Uh, also earlier today, Chelsea uh, one nil victors over West Ham. Last minute goal by um, Christian Pulisic. Uh, Burnley defeated Wolves one goal to nil, which takes them out of the drop zone. Uh, and the other game was uh, Brighton and Southampton played to a 2-2 draw. But right now, from a Premier League perspective, as was said on the TV and I'm saying right now, uh, you have uh, the title is up for grabs. The top four is up for grabs. The relegation zone is up for grabs, although you're not trying to grab that. So you don't know who, what, what, who's going down. You, know, you Well, you know Norwich is going down. You're pretty sure Watford's going down, but you're not sure about who else is going down. Is it going to be Burnley? Is it going to be Everton? Who's going to be in top four? Is, is it going to be Arsenal, or is it going to be Tottenham? And who's going to win the championship? Is it going to be Liverpool or Manchester City? Right now, we do not know the answer to that question. I, I, if I look at these, uh, these uh, fixtures... Like I said, that Newcastle is a tricky game. And West Ham, playing against West Ham, that Manchester City has to do, that's a very tricky game playing at West Ham, playing that on the road. Uh, you have to think that uh, they can beat Aston Villa. But again, Wolves is another interesting game that both these teams have to play. Now, make no mistake, both these teams are better than their opponents that they have to play. I don't think either one of these teams, including the Champions League, will play an opponent that's as good as either of them uh, of, of, the, of their teams until they play each other in the Champions League final. Like I said, I think it's going to be Manchester City versus uh, Liverpool in the Champions League final. And that's going to be a barn burner. It's, if, it, if it's anything like the game that they played at the Etihad a couple weeks ago, we are really in for a treat. But that's where we are right now. That's where we are in the uh, Premier League. That's where we are today at the end. Now, I know there's one more game tomorrow with Leeds. Uh, but like I said that's that, that's not going to affect anything. Uh, but again, congrats, Leeds versus Crystal Palace. That, uh, as far as today is concerned, there's all to play for. A great weekend of football next week. Can't wait for it. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, please hit the like and hit please hit the subscribe. Thank you very much.